Um, you know, there's a lot of uh, misconceptions of what farming is all about, and uh, as we get farther disconnected from consumer to producer, uh, we want to try to help fill that gap in a little bit. And um, with my experience within you know, the cattle industry and my wife being a, a big part of that as well, we, we feel like we have a lot of knowledge that we can share with, uh, with folks that may not know, you know much about raising cattle. We strive to keep the environment uh, good and, um, and keep cattle healthy through making them comfortable, um, you know, making sure that pens are clean, making sure that cattle are clean, making sure that you know, they don't get too hot, too cold. All of those things are very important. And so um, with that being said, it's less likely that they're going to get sick if they have a good environment that they live in. And so we rarely have sick animals, but when we do, uh, we work with our vet and uh, making sure that we have the right protocols to match up with what they need. We can't just give antibiotics willy-nilly. We have to get a vet involved in with that um, to make sure that we have the right antibiotics that we're giving. And then there's regulations when it comes to when you can give those uh, when it comes close to that harvest date, essentially. So we don't have antibiotic residue in meat and everything else. We raise steers, which are castrated male cattle, and we reduce the amount of testosterone that those animals get, which is a good thing when it comes to meat quality. Um, we have, uh, testosterone has a negative uh, connotation when it comes to tenderness of meat. We, we reduce growth down because testosterone is a big uh, thing for growth and, and um, performance there. But what we can do is replace that from um, that natural source through a really small pellet uh, as big as an eraser on a pencil. And that goes into the ear one time and that's it. And it's a slow release pellet. And so it's not something that we go out there every day and you know inject cattle or anything like that. And then that will help um, basically fill in the gap from what we took away and we're bringing back into that animal, but we don't have that effect of uh, tenderness and taste and, and all of those things. Cattle are really the only ones that we use hormones for. Uh, chickens, pigs, um, there is no benefit because of how it works. It basically helps increase uh, feed intake. Um, that's what helps muscle growth and, and everything else. But with pigs and chickens, it does not affect feed intake. So there's no point in giving a hormone to those animals. So when you see that label, no hormones added to chicken or pigs, nothing ever has hormones added because there's no benefit. But I would say that those are probably the biggest things that we hear.